August 9th, Prayer in the Father's Hearing Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. John 11, verse 41. When the Son of God prays, he is mindful and consciously aware of only his Father. God always hears the prayers of his Son, and if the Son of God has been formed in me, see Galatians 4, verse 19, the Father will always hear my prayers but I must see to it that the Son of God is exhibited in my human flesh. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, 1 Corinthians 6, verse 19. That is, your body is the Bethlehem of God's Son. Is the Son of God being given His opportunity to work in me? Is the direct simplicity of His life being worked out in me exactly as it was worked out in His life while here on earth? When I come into contact with the everyday occurrences of life as an ordinary human being, is the prayer of God's eternal Son to His Father being prayed in me. Jesus says, In that day you will ask in my name. John 16, verse 26. What day does He mean? He is referring to the day when the Holy Spirit has come to me and made me one with my Lord. Is the Lord Jesus Christ being abundantly satisfied by your life, or are you exhibiting a walk of spiritual pride before Him? Never let your common sense become so prominent and forceful that it pushes the Son of God to one side. Common sense is a gift that God gave to our human nature, but common sense is not the gift of His Son. Supernatural sense is the gift of His Son, and we should never put our common sense on the throne. The Son always recognizes and identifies with the Father, but common sense has never yet done so and never will. Our ordinary abilities will never worship God unless they are transformed by the indwelling Son of God. We must make sure that our human flesh is kept in perfect submission to Him, allowing Him to work through it moment by moment. Are we living at such a level of human dependence upon Jesus Christ that His life is being exhibited moment by moment in us?